Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Mama! Mama, where are you? Mama! Leave that poor woman alone, Claudia. Mama doesn't like to be left alone, David. How do you know? Instinct, instinct. Ah, uh, you haven't any. Oh, just the contrary. That's all I've got. Well, she either doesn't hear you, she, she doesn't want to answer you. I wonder what she's up to. Well, I'm up to trying to read my newspaper, if you'd let she me. She said she was going to her room for only a few minutes. She's still gone. Maybe she's flown away. David, fly away, too, and see if she's all right. I then. will not. Don't you care? Not a bit. Mama would be very glad to hear that. This morning she said she had a headache. Well, if she has a headache, she certainly wants to be left alone. Well, I don't like to be alone when I have a headache. When did you last have a headache? Mm, I don't remember. Look, darling, if it'll make you feel any better, why don't you run in and see how Mama is? You wouldn't think me a fool if I did? I might, but go ahead anyway. All right. I hope my son isn't going to be that way about me. What way? A fool. Mama? Hey, Mama, where are you? I'm in here. Where is in here? In the ministry. Who wants to know? Just me. What are you doing in there? Is it any of your business? It certainly is. Well, then, I'm getting things ready for the baby's bath. Oh, you make it sound like a project. It is, rather. How's he doing? How's your headache? What headache? The one you said you had this morning. I didn't have a headache. Then why did you say you did? Hmm, perhaps for a little respite and solitude. Respite and... I ought to put you to bed without any dinner for that. Now, out of my way. I'm busy. I told you I was getting things ready for the baby's bath. Oh, that. I'll do it. Hmm, that's what you think. Huh. I suppose you don't think I can, do you? I know that you can. Well, that settles it. Oh. I shall give the baby his bath. You insist? Absolutely, positively. I suppose there's no point in arguing. None at all. You won't even listen to reason? Well, that is the last thing I would listen to. In that case, I resign myself. I tell you, I'll make a bargain with you, Mrs. Norton. Name your terms, Mrs. Brown. I will teach you to give the baby a bath. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Very sweet. It's a bargain? Well, I know how, but it's a deal. You promised to listen to what I say and no funny business. I said it's a deal, didn't I? I don't trust you somehow. And me, your one and only daughter. The apple of your eye. Claudia, where are you going? Get David. He's had his bath, hasn't he? I refuse to give one to him. I intend to make this bargain a real bargain, Mommy. You can teach David at the same time. Claudia, those weren't my terms. Too bad, they're mine. David. Say, David, you're through reading your paper, aren't you? Look in your eye, my love. Uh, I'd say I am. Good, because I've got something better for us to do. What now? Well, you don't have to look so long-suffering about it. Mm -hmm. how, how should I look? Interested. And first tell me what the something better is. Mama says she wants to teach us to give the baby a bath. <laughs> is that what Mama says? Well, she didn't exactly say she wanted to, but hmm. she thinks it's a good idea. Hmm? I think it's a great idea. You do? As a matter of fact, darling, I I think there are a couple of things that we might teach your mother. Oh, David, you're wonderful. That's the same thing I was thinking, mm -hmm. exactly the same thing. All right, shall we up and give your mother a lesson? Leave us up? Mm -hmm. Mama, David promises he'll be good if you let him watch, too. You little liar. Dare I trust, David? Dare you not? All right, I'm overruled. But as I said to that daughter of mine, no funny business. Well, what on earth could be funny about a baby's bath? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll find something. Now, get away from me, Mama. I'm going to do this alone. You are indeed. David, she doesn't think I can give the baby his bath. I, I wouldn't stand for such insults, darling. Mama, David says not to stand for such insults, darling. I ignore him, too. Who are you worried about most, Mother, Claudia or the baby? Claudia? She hasn't as much sense as the baby. <laughs> she might drown herself. Now, all into the bathroom. We'll get started. Mama, you stand to one side over there like a professor. 
And you, David, you stand t'other side like a student. And um, who are you? I am the demonstrator. Demon is right. Now, let's see. Water. Lukish warm. Only Lukish, no warmer. Isn't this a wonderful way to celebrate Bobby's one-month birthday? It's not his one-month birthday until tomorrow. Oh, what's a little day? He was as good as born the night before. <laughs> the night before, you had no idea you were going to have a son. Oh, you? that's what you think, Grandmama. She had, she, she'd known him for months. Thank you, David. Now, let's see. The water is just about the right temperature. There's soap, oil, talcum powder. You put the towels on the heater so they'll be warm. Oh. Ah, such pampering. Don't forget to hold his head up with your left hand. See, I wonder if Bobby will grow up to be a good swimmer. A marathon, channel-crossing swimmer. Oh, you're so ambitious for him, darling. I'd feel a lot better if he knew how to swim now. You're even more ambitious for him, Mom. I'll go and fetch him. Now, mind you, one false move and I'll lock you up in a closet, Mrs. Norton. If I'm old enough to have had the baby, I certainly think I'm old enough to bathe him. Age takes no talent. But evidently bathing a baby does. David, you traitor, you, you double-crosser. Is she calling you names, too, David? Just a few bouquets thrown my way. I'm accustomed to it. Well, here's the victim. Your first ordeal, you poor baby. Come to Mama Tootsie. His name is Bobby. Don't you want Tootsie Tootsie to test the water <laughs> with his big toes to see if it's too cold? Oh, that's a brilliant idea, David. Mama, isn't it helpful to have a man around? I reserve judgment. Now, let's see. Too cold or too hot, sweetie? Uh, he says just right. Then in he goes. Claudia, please be gentler. He's so small. Oh, you want to play, eh? Yeah, two can play at that game, young man. No, not so rough, David, please. <laughs> oh, he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. David, you're getting me all wet. You are all wet, both of you. Pass me the soap. I'm taking over. You are not. I'm doing this. I am his father. I know that. Children, don't you know better than to argue when the fat's in the fire? When the fatty's in the water, you mean? <laughs> She kills herself, Mother. Oh, just so long as she doesn't hurt the baby. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, don't use so much soap, I Claudia. I use as much as I please. I love sons. Stubborn. Brutal. Just like you. That's telling her, Claudia. Say, on whose side are you, David? Me? Both. Claudia, his head's rolling around. David, your head's rolling around. Not oh. his. The baby. Oh, the baby's too is your head. Hold it better. Around. Really? He can't hold it up yet by himself. Well, he ought to be ashamed. He's such a big boy, too. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself, David Norton. He's wiggling. Hey, now stop that. Stop that. What a dope. He is wiggling like a worm. Oh, worm. he's a regular little fish of a baby. He loves his butt. One Doesn't says he? worm, the other says fish. Honestly, Mama, you sound as if you were talking to an infant. I adapt myself to the situation. Now, it's high time you started treating your grandson like a man. But he isn't a man yet. He is, almost. Besides, how is he ever going to know if you don't treat him like one? You'll know soon enough. Not too soon for me. Well, now, how's the bath coming, Scoogles? I prefer not to say. Poor baby. I am doing brilliantly. What do you think, David? Oh, I, I, I'm impressed. I'll be the same for you sometime. No compliments from you, Mama. Well, in spite of all your tomfoolery, you did all right. Your bark's worse than your bite, but you will be able to take your bath on the floor. Yes. Water's almost knee-high already. I should have worn my galoshes. <laughs> That's only because Bobby's starting to think he's too big to be given a bath in one of these little baby things. Maybe I have to try the sink. Over my dead body. That's true. We might go down the drain. Well, how about a big uh, wooden wash bucket? That's a better idea. Would you like me to go get one now? Yes, we can finish up in it. You'll right. finish in this. What's more, you'll bathe him in this apparatus several more months. Mama is holding him back, David. Mm, typical grandmother. Keeping the baby young keeps her young. Oh, I guess that's it. I've half a mind to... Hand me the towel, Mama. I thought you didn't want any help. Handing a towel doesn't count. There, now, how does that feel, my little man? Pretty good, eh? Oh, feels fine. <laughs> you got her goop. Well, you asked me, didn't you? <laughs> now, listen, you poor <laughs> fatherless child. We're going to dry you off and rub you all up with talcum powder and put you back into bed. Mom, it's sizzling in this bathroom. Open a window. I will not. Want him to catch pneumonia? Oh, he won't catch it. I'm telling you, Mama, we simply have to quit treating him like a fragile mouse. Yes, he can stand on his own two feet. You'll get bow-legged. He's bow-legged now. <laughs> 
Hey, look at him smiling. Mm, he's going to be quite a gentleman with the girls, don't you think? A killer like you. It's too early to tell. Well, haven't I proved that I'm a killer? For the last time, I mean the baby. Lie down oh. there, Bobby, and be quiet. You'll get talcum powder in your mouth. I don't think you'll like that much. Let me do it. You're shaking it all over the bathroom. If you don't get out of the way, Mama. I'll shake it all over your nice blue dress. Claudia, just a suggestion. Yes. Uh, don't you think you'd be sweeter if we shook him over with nice confectionery sugar instead of plain old talcum powder? You try it, and I'll shook you, and it won't be talcum powder either. Mom, it's serious, David. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Well, maybe she's tired. What from? I've been doing all the work. She said she was going to give us a lesson, but not, of course... Not a very good teacher. No. I'm not in the mood for any more insults, and neither is your offspring. Oh, now, sure say hello to him before I put him to sleep. There. Hey, hey, he's dry. Of course he's dry. I just gave him a bath. Wonders of wonders. After a bath is the only time he's dry. David, you're such a dope. You're shocking my mother. Well, it's about time. I've been trying to shock her for months. Now, come on to bed, fella. Come on, it's time for your nap. Oh, thank goodness for that. Hey, uh, I could throw you in your crib from just about here. You can fly through the air and then dry, drop gently on your mat. David, if you throw him, I'll never, never forgive you. Wind up. One, two, three. Get set. Go. David, stop. Stop. This minute, I insist. Oh, sorry, fella. Your grandmother won't let us play. All right. I'll put you down gently. There you are. Now, thank you, Grandma. Oh, my heart's beating like a racehorse. Oh, darling, you make such a nice bully of a father. I think I'm entirely too lenient. Oh, <laughs> yes, much too lenient, That's much me. too gentle. If you were any gentler, your son, I shudder to think what had happened to him. Cheer up, David. Mama may not love you, but I do. I think you're the greatest little bath giver that ever lived. You if do? you'll mm-hmm. excuse me, I am going to my room, take an aspirin and lie down. Mama, I thought you said you didn't have a headache. I didn't, but I have one now, a humdinger. Poor Grandma. She gets tired watching us work. Well, the solution is, darling, from now on, we'll just let her give the baby his bath. And I'll feel perfectly safe about it, too, David, because we've given Mama such a wonderful lesson. Haven't we, Mama? (laughs) The long summer days are a boon to everyone but Mother, who sometimes finds that the longer the day, the more work hours. If summer vacation time proves no vacation for you... Why not consider ways of lightening your chores? One sensible plan is to pause occasionally and refresh yourself with ice-cold Coca-Cola. The work-refreshed idea is spreading rapidly in factories, offices, and shops. It seems only logical that it should spread into homes, where so much of the world's work is done. Mr. King, I don't mind telling you I am exhausted. I well understand. Those two children, sometimes I think they're mad. Is that what you really think? Well, at least they have a good time. A swell time. But take my advice, Mrs. Brown. Steal yourself. You mean I'm to have more tribulations and more trials? Many more. If Claudia and David can have such fun with a mere baby's bath, think what they can do with making a bed. Oh, dear, I don't dare think. (laughs) Then don't, but do come around tomorrow. I'll be there. Goodbye, Mr. King. Goodbye. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.